name is Helga Janssen Daubier. I am a PhD candidate in the UCT School of Education and I'm also proudly a Canon Collins Scholar. I was thrilled to be part of an engagement which the Canon Collins Trust um, was part of, a partnership with the Public Education Office of Parliament um, as they commemorated and celebrated Adult Learners Week. So greet all of you with this Education for Democracy Dialogue as we recognize and we recommit ourselves to literacy and democracy in the general, in the informal, in the formal, in the vocational, in the adult education spaces that we occupy as, that we occupy as practitioners, as practitioner activists, as scholars and as elected representatives. This event, like many which encourage dialogue between the people's house and the people makes real our democracy that despite the many flaws, and we can talk on one, about the many flaws in our society, this space is still very sacred. So thank you. And so having gone there and um, presented initial ideas around my thesis work and how I envisaged um, vocational education um, supporting social justice work but also equitable political economy work in communities was just a thrill. Um, the focus of my PhD thesis is an historical, sociological, educational um, exploration into the making of identities, particularly black identities in the context of vocational education and training. Um, and I'm looking back to perhaps help explain and help to think through why we have the education, the vocational education system that we have currently. Um, I'm going to do an exploration of the De Villiers Report, which is a seminal report um, published in 1948, commissioned in 1945. Um, and the interesting thing is how historical um, moments, both um, nationally but also globally have impacted the way that vocational education emerged. Um, a big connecting point of my work is that I'm wanting to make a case for the exploration um, and of course the development of these identities in service of a very particular society. In South Africa it was the apartheid um, capitalist society which needed um, malleable, pliable labor that understood um, and would not resist their role in society and that of course was made so by apartheid. My work is um, sociology, it's history, it's also political economy. Um, the political economy um, lens through which I want to look at this of course has a deep connection to historical injustices and so contributing to how we view education as an important um, tool in the social justice toolbox. Um, without a, a, a thriving and stable education, we're never going to make real um, the vision of, 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 of our democratic state that wants to create an equitable um, education, um, public education that is truly a public good. And so I'm hoping that my work is going to contribute to the intellectual thinking through what vocational education could mean. Um, and the reality is that vocational education is a stepping stone for many working class and rural families to come out of poverty. Um, but if we're going to tell young people that they're only ever going to have to dream within these parameters, we're also not make going to, to honour the value of their identities as well. And so being part of the Canon Collins community is definitely um, a privilege and one that I don't take lightly precisely because of the history of the, of, of the trust and where it comes from, its role um, in, in the vanquishing of apartheid to be that dramatic, um, but also of course the fact that they are like-minded scholars across the continent um, who, who, who think the way that I do um, and challenge the way that we can do our work and, and, and the system in which we live.